Oh, this is dirty. Alright, let's, let's start, guys. That way everybody can go back to their lives, whatever you guys have. So, today I actually got up. I could get up, man. I got up at 6.05 market time, which means I only had 20 minutes to prep. Usually I'm up at least an hour and a half before. Alex is there two hours before. You know, I, thankfully Alex has a watch list every morning. So I piggyback on that watch list. Thank you, Alex. And so are the members. The reason I keep talking about watch list is because you guys keep telling us you cannot afford MIC. Well, we have a way for you to pay for your membership. You know? The watch list itself. If that thing hits, it's a 90%. We back tested this. A member back tested all the watch lists. It's over 90% effective once it hits. If it does not hit, <laughs> if it does not hit, no harm, no foul, you make no money. But today, SDC was on the watch list. I posted that in Twitter. That one stock alone could have paid for your, your entire membership. Think about this 1,000 shares. 1,000 shares is all you need to make 20 cents. That's 200 bucks. 1,000 shares, 200 bucks on a 20 cent move. It, turn off the computer, go to work. Turn off the computer, go to sleep. <laughs> $200 a day is life-changing money for most people around the world. And remember, this is supplemental income. I'm not telling you to quit your job to make 200 bucks a day. I'm talking about you start out learning and then to make 200 bucks a day pays for your entire month membership. And think about that. That's not life changing, man. That's how much is 200 bucks a day, Alex? Pull that thing up. Is that like 50 grand a year? Two bucks a month is what? 50,000 a year? If when you get a day. So you think about it, that's actually pretty not bad. Imagine you, imagine you can have a supplemental income of 50,000 extra a year. You would totally love it. But for some reason, when you're trading, you want that 50,000 right away. You're not happy with $200 a day, $400 a day, losing $100 a day, making 200 bucks a day. You're not happy with trying to learn to make it every day because the blueprint for a $1,000 day, guys, starts with making 100, $200 a day. That's the thing people don't understand. This is like the karate kid. He's washing the cars, wax on, wax off, and he does not understand. But these build up. So, a lot of the members are like, why, why, why do you keep talking about $200 a day? Because it builds good habits. You cannot make money. You cannot make $200 a day consistently. How are you going to make $1,000? You're going to gamble. So this is what we keep trying to tell you. Supplement your income. Some people are happy with 200 bucks a day. 50000 a year. Extra on top of what they're working. Supplement your income. Keep your day job. But then there's going to become a point where if you want to take it to the next level, you're going to make $500 a day, $1,000 a day, $5,000. Who knows, right? At, at some point, trading is going to make you more money than your day job. That's when you can consider being a full-time trader. Or, you know, man, being a full-time trader is just, it's, it's a glorified bullshit, in my opinion. I, I don't work all day. Alex doesn't work all day. Being a full-time trader just means that you don't, <laughs> that you have an opportunity to work all day if you want to. That you sit there and don't have to have a alarm clock to go to work. I made today, I mean, the members know like over five grand is like literally less than one hour. I could now go to my day job. If I wanted to, I can go to Starbucks. <laughs> you know, if that's what you like. To be honest, guys, a lot of times I take a job, not because of the money. It's because I, 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 I want to have that experience. I'll give you an example. In college, in college, I was a well-qualified engineer. And when I graduated... I wanted a job at the bank. I hated my engineering job. I made a ton of money. I mean, at that time, a ton of money would be, you know, anything that's not minimum wage, right? So, I mean, I was a college grad and I was applying to be a bank teller at Wells Fargo. No joke. The reason why is because there are hot chicks that work at the fucking bank. <laughs> They're all tellers. They're making minimum wage as a bank teller. You know, bank teller that you go in, you're like, you know, you, you talk to the, the person. I'm like, I'm like, dude, there's so many fucking hot chicks there. 
And the reason, because I, I was like, dude, I'm stuck in an engineering job with all men. And so I took, I wanted this job to meet girls. It wasn't about the money. I got rejected. And so it turns out I was overqualified. That's what we think. But the thing is, like, I don't have customer service experience like those people. And then, and then the managers were afraid that, why the hell does this engineering graduate from a good school trying to get a minimum wage job? It didn't make sense to them. <laughs> but, you know, I... I Dude, I would have worked for free. I just wanted to fucking meet people. Cause I didn't, you know what I'm saying? So the same thing with day trading, same thing with everything else, guys. You know, it's gonna come to a point where, you know, money is not gonna be a problem anymore. Once the money is solved, then the real problems come with, in terms of liking your job, things like that. So with trading, what it does is it gives you the freedom, guys. You know, you work an hour a day. <laughs> Literally, I'm telling you, the first hour, done. Alex made 2.6 million after fees trading the first hour. And so, how do you make money? So the topic of this Instagram Live is, how do you make a million dollars a year trading small size? And I'll tell you how. Because a million dollars a year, you know what that is? That is $4,000 a day. Okay? That seems like a very lofty goal. To make a million dollars, people think that they need to start swinging up and down $50,000, $20,000, $100,000. No. If you consistently make $4,000 a day, that is a million dollar run rate. So let's start, let's stop there, okay? A million dollars is very high. Yes, it's not easy to make 4,000 every single day. But it, it's, not, it's not impossible. Today I made 5.2, just trading small size. Each position was making me $800. Think about this, to make 4,000, I made $800 times five positions. That's four grand. Right? Is that four grand? <laughs> 800 times, no, no, no. Eight times six positions. Six positions, something like that. But that, that's the, that's, I posted that in the chat room to, I mean, the 5,000 is not a big number. No one's gonna, no, no, it's not a brag, but it, but it shows you. So it broke down each position how much I made. And then, you know, it starts adding up 800 here, 800 there, 900 there, 600 there. All of a sudden, you're like, oh shit, I'm up 5,000 bucks. Before the hour even ended. Most are oversizing. Exactly right, Alex. I created a tweet long time ago. I talk about all this time. To cure most of the trading issues, reduce your size. Widen your stops. If you're, if the fact that you're carrying too much size is what's making you nervous, making you trade poorly, because every movement is going to, you're gonna feel the pain. I can't afford this loss, I can't afford this loss. So size down. You'd be surprised, by sizing down, you actually make more money. So, so take a look at, uh, so the guys in MIC can talk about, right? I posted the TNL. I mean, none of the none of the positions I made over a thousand bucks, <laughs> but it added up to five grand. I'm like, holy shit, right? This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not swinging for the fences on these plays. I'm nailing and billing, and making the meat of the move, taking the easy money. It adds up, guys. Trade well, it adds up. Think about this: eight hundred bucks, five hundred bucks, eight hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. Dude, right there, you already. <laughs> it's. Much simpler to make five hundred dollars than it is to make five thousand bucks. I held a small position and made twenty cents, forty cents a trade. Some trades I made a dollar. Let's see how it adds up. One thousand shares, guys. Twenty cent move is two hundred bucks. I am in two thousand shares. Twenty cent move that's four hundred bucks. And I'm taking gains between twenty cents and a dollar. I'm playing the range. I know what stocks to look for. If you don't know what stocks to look for, check out our watch list. That's how you learn. So the watch list is kind of like a cheater. I, I mean, when we start the watch list, I don't want people to copy it because I'm like, the last thing I need you to do is copy. But then people started to copy and they made money. And then we said, you know what? Screw this shit. I'm going to tell you how to do it correctly. You use the watch list for a couple of reasons. Reverse engineer to learn the stocks that we choose, why of all the stocks out there, the thousands of stocks in small caps, why do we choose these stocks to look at? Number two, where is the mindset? So not only we get the watch list, 
Most people just give a ticker. We actually give the mindset, the thought process, the lines. So you can understand how we came up with these lines. Because a lot of times, sure, there's like 500 lines you can draw. Which line is the appropriate line? And so by seeing the watches every day, you see the, the mentality, the mindset of a professional trader. A million dollar trader. How he chooses what stocks. How he chooses the proper entries and exits. How he passes certain stocks. Not trading a certain stock is huge. If you get stuck in the wrong stock, like life, yesterday, you're blown up. You're blown up, guys. So knowing when to trade the stock and when to not trade the stock is very important. And that's how you make a million dollars a year trading small size. I Man, I could teach anybody to freaking make 200 bucks a day, guys. And we do. The problem is this. People get greedy. The moment they make 200 bucks, they, make, they want to make $500. The moment they make 500, they want to make 1,000. And then when they used to make 500 bucks, they cannot go back to making $100. Some days, look at Alex today. He made like 800 bucks. <laughs> the other day, he made 35,000. So, Alex is able to accept $800 days. Knowing that when the opportunity is right, he will make $30,000. And that is, that is a professional trader. Not a gambler. Gambler's force. They have a goal. Gamblers go into the casino. I want to win $10,000. Professionals wait for the opportunity. They don't come in and blindly force to make that. Because there are certain days it's best to make zero. Making zero on certain days. How many times have you lost and wish you just didn't wake up in the morning? And that is a true professional. To know that they can wake up and have the strength, the discipline to not place a trade. Being a full-time trader does not mean trading all the time. That is the misnomer. That is the fallacy of being a full-time trader. That's what most people think. That we are here clicking for the action. Making consistent gains is very boring, guys. I talked about this in the last idea. I am very fucking bored every morning. And so when I'm bored, this is the problem with me. Sometimes I like to challenge myself. Like Alex says, don't trade that stock. Don't trade that stock. Of course, it's a hard stock. You know, yeah, I shouldn't be trading, but like, oh yeah, let me try to beat this guy. It's like, you know, you try to beat the, the, the boss level when you, when you don't have to beat the boss level. Then you can go around the boss. But sometimes you get bored and that's the problem with human beings. I can teach you to make 200 bucks a day, 500 bucks a day consistently. And we have. The problem is, can you control your emotions? Can you not get greedy? Can you have the discipline to take a small loss? That is the key. Being able to take a small loss before it turns into a big loss is one of the huge, huge qualities that you need to have. A skill. It is a skill. Being able to say, I am wrong. Is a skill, which leads me to this topic: humility, being humble, being able to take a loss and post that loss. That says a lot about your character. A lot of people hide from their loss. You know, I when I lose, I post it, right, guys? Not only I post it, I educate the members. You know how hard it is to take a huge loss and then you have to post it, and then not only have to post it, you have to you have to educate someone on why you're stupid. But that's the quality of a leader. That's the quality that I want you guys to have. Because you know what? One, one big win or one big loss does not define you. You just had a bad day. Even all of the... Even Michael Jordan had bad days. But when it came down to it, when it mattered most, he won. That's because he's able to learn from his mistakes throughout the, throughout the um, season. Michael Jordan lost a lot of games. But he won a lot more games than he lost. So he either wins or he learns. The losses in the regular season for Michael Jordan helped him to learn where his weaknesses were. Same thing with taking small losses. You take these small losses and you own them and you learn. You don't make fun. I see these Twitter fucking guys and they're idiots as fuck. They're blaming on algos, institutional selling. All sorts of shit. It's just fucking crazy. But when they win, 
Oh, all, all of a sudden, there's no algos on it. <laughs> when they win, it's like, oh, they're, they're, the, they're the best. Why are you fucking in their room? <laughs> You're the best. Those are the type of people that will never, ever get to the next level. They may get to the next level, but then they'll slowly bleed off. Because they got too arrogant. They will never listen to anybody. The best traders in the world still refine their system every day, guys. The best athletes still learn, get coached. <laughs> you imagine all the best athletes out there. They have a coach. They have a coach, guys. They have to listen to the coach. That is humility. Tom Brady. Tom Brady, the greatest guy. Greatest fucking football quarterback of all time. He's still got to listen to Belichick. You know, that's what made him great. He studied the system under there. He learned it. And then now, look at him, man. So, being humble, guys, is, the, in my opinion, one of the most important qualities to be a successful day trader. Because you can't take the loss. You can look at yourself and say, you know what? I fucked up. And I'm going to humble myself. I don't know anything. You know, the more you learn, guys, the more you realize that you actually don't know that much. But when you're young, you think you know everything. And that's how traders blow up. I, you know, I talk to a lot of Twitter people. And I'm like, dude, some of these people cannot be helped. <laughs> they, they're too arrogant. They, they think they know everything. But it's okay. Not everybody, you know, not everybody's meant to be a successful day trader. But those that want to be successful day trader guys, you guys have to humble yourself. <laughs> I see a lot of people learn and they start to, to see progress. And then they go, oh, I learned enough, I'm going to quit. I, I'm, I'm on my own now, I'll see how I do. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> you are successful learning from someone who gave you who actually taught you a gift and then all of a sudden you leave because you think you know everything to be honest it's kind of like that's that I, I mean I, I don't when I see that bye bye it's very rare that I try to stop them because I'm like that's the sort of mentality that I do not like because those are not the qualities I would like to mentor I see people just getting started, learn, quit to start their own chat room. Shit like that. It's just fucking crazy. And I'm like, you fucking nuts, man. You have the opportunity. If I had the opportunity to learn under a fucking <laughs> Belichick or Tom Brady, what the fuck? I would try to learn as much as I can until, until they kick me out. Those people are just arrogant. They think that they learned enough, that they are entitled to whatever reason. So I'm telling you guys all right now, man. Get rid of that fucking ego. That ego is the reason why you're not successful. You do not have the right yet to earn to be arrogant. Even guys like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, richest man in the world, they have a right to be arrogant, but he's not. You know, that's the thing. It's like... If you know martial arts and you're like a fifth degree black belt, you're not going to become a bully and bully people because you know you kick everyone's ass. It's the, it's the guys that are insecure that bully others. It's the guys that do not know shit about trading that talks the most as if they know the most about trading. It's the guys that you take a look at their profile on Twitter. Uh, hedge fund manager. I mean, fuck, dude. They just started or some shit, right? <laughs> or 25 years trading veteran. If, if you're trained that long and you still are not fucking over PDT, you got a fucking problem, bro. <laughs> That's a funny shit. I would, not, I would not be bragging. It's like me bragging. 25 years playing golf, which I did. I've been playing golf for 25 years, but I suck. I'm too arrogant when I started to take lessons, and I'm paying the price right now. My form is bad. I hacked my way through the course. Kids, four-year-old kids play better than me in golf. 25 years, golf doesn't mean shit. Never got properly mentored, bad habits. Same thing with trading, guys. Same thing with trading. You can hack your way through life or you can learn from someone that is there. And, and, and you guys, I'm just, I'm just like, it's crazy. When I started trading, guys, there was no social media. There was no, I was an old, old timer. I had to teach myself. If I could be taught by someone like myself, holy fuck, dude. 
I wouldn't. I man, you think how far much further I can go? No one fucking taught me. <laughs> Look at Alex, man. Holy shit, twenty-seven years old. Happy birthday, Alex. Twenty-seven years old. He's already fucking eclipsing guys who were trained for twenty years. Cause that good mentorship. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, dude, he's he's a bright kid. But at the same time, you'd have to have the proper mentorship to avoid the pitfalls. Cause when you start trading, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know if you should be using Fibonacci or using RSI or all sorts of dumbass shit. You know, that's the thing with the mentoring, guys. It's, it's not about being arrogant. It's about the fact that if you can shorten the learning curve, it's huge. You join MIC for one month, your mind is blown. You're like, holy fuck. I would have never known this shit. It would have taken you 20 years to figure shit out. Like the zombie rule. It took me so long to figure it out. Zombie rule was what fucking transformed short selling. Short sellers blew up because of the zombies. Algos came to figure out how to fucking kill these all day fader motherfuckers. <laughs> and it only took a ton of losses for me to recognize this. But the problem is that you, you will never survive. You would blow up and never think about it. You know, I've, I've tried every holy grail indicator in the book. I'm like, fuck, you know, you could go down five years on the wrong fucking path. I see guys with all sorts of shit on the charts. And they're not profitable. And I tell them, remove everything. Just fucking put in the VWAP and draw your lines. And they're like, holy fuck, what the fuck? They still don't believe it. <laughs> but the lines are not the all end be all. I'm telling you right now, guys. I'm, we, we simplified it down to the point where this we help you get started. You knock, I mean, this is not the whole trading, obviously, but we get you enough to become profitable, consistent and profitable, then you can tweak your system. That's the key. Belichick helped Tom Brady learn the system and all that. But Brady became better than Belichick. So that's the whole thing, you know, it's like the, the, a mentor is just there to guide you. The mentor, I want my pupils, my disciples, my followers, whatever you want to call it, my protégés to be better than me. I'm so happy Alex now is kicking ass. I have no <laughs> ego. I love it. I love it. That means I can walk away to sunset and say, hey, Alex, you, you, you are now. I passed the baton. You are now. So I can go to sleep. I don't have to fucking keep doing this anymore. And that's my whole goal guys and that's the goal of a really good mentor it's just to help whoever they're helping but not having the ego to get in the way Alex wants to do what he wants to do, do it he's ready now you know that's that's the truth versus like no man you gotta go under my system all the time and like dude I, we learn from each other all the time Alex taught me a ton of stuff Tosh too every moderator in MIC taught me a lot of stuff a lot of members taught me stuff so how do you make a million dollars? The first step is this, man. If you do it yourself, forget it. Not many people do that. And this is why I'm trolled all the time. Because I might be the only one of the few guys that are self-taught that have done that. And that's why I get trolled. Because people don't believe it. Because, dude, it's impossible. It's literally impossible, guys. Because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're going to join the wrong pump and dump. I got pumped and dumped on it. And so this is why I'm telling you guys, man. I don't know how else to say this. Being mentored does not mean that you are... It's like, if you have the ego, man, go for it. Do your own shit. I'd rather be rich than be right. I'd rather be fucking rich with no ego than have the ego and broke ass. So you only know yourself. If the reason why you're not where you want to be in life, or you're not successful what you want to do, is your ego holding you up. Let go of your fucking ego. The Karate Kid, man. I'll tell you right now, as corny as that movie is, makes fucking sense. Why are we telling everybody to fucking, you know, do a certain thing, have a routine every day? You know, because it builds up a good character, good habits, things like that, guys. So, all right, any, uh, did I cover anything? I wanted to rant and just got bitching because, you know, this week has been very emotional for me. There's a lot of people. I mean, I, I think I'm a good guy. I think I, I try to help people. 
But people don't see that. And so sometimes I say, fuck this shit, dude. A lot of times I just want to say, fuck you, fuck everything, get the fuck out of my face, I don't want to do this shit anymore. And then I get messages thanking me, I go, fuck, okay. <sighs> so this is, you know, <laughs> this is why we do what we do, guys. I don't do this purely for the money. Of course, it's fucking, I have to make money. Why would I do this shit for free? I've done it for free for 10 years already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's because when I, I was teaching for free, I wasn't really teaching, guys. I was sending off messages. I wasn't mentoring. I wasn't there every day. I wasn't sharing any charts with anybody. But now, shit, if you want me to mentor, you pay me. And I made, we made it so cheap at MIC. 99 bucks. Is that sell still on, Alex? 99 fucking dollars. If you don't want to fucking join, I don't know. I went, Alex just told me yesterday something that I didn't even know. So Alex is actually charging MIC now. I'm tired, man. I gave it. I was like, dude, I'm done. Alex gave me, hey man, I'm, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Maybe we're gonna end monthly soon. There's gonna be a cap on it. Who knows? I'm just, I don't know. What Alex, want me to tell you, but maybe. You know, I'm just saying, maybe. So you better fucking join now, guys, because when I'm tired, guys, and I'm fucking leaving, you're not gonna have a mentor, but one less mentor for for you to learn from. Because I'm pretty, re- I'm reaching the point where I'm tired, man. <laughs> Seriously, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I might take a year off or some shit and good luck on you guys, right? So, uh, so there's a 99 says hit up Tosh, guys. This is your, I, I don't want to say anything because when we announce some shit, you can't blame me. Like, what the fuck? What happened? <laughs> you know, 99 bucks, we leave it up there. We reason we do the $99, guys. <sighs> it's because we're like, dude, man, these, we want to show you that when you get in, you're going to see that this is nothing like you thought this is a real fucking educational uh system that we have so anyways i want to keep talking about that but uh someone raise their hands i want to bring one person on you want to rant you want to you want to tell a, a success story you want to say how you fucking got scammed whatever you want to say so raise your hand who wants to get on i'll let you guys air it out now you want to have a story about ego how ego ruined you I'm going to hear a story about how, hardly a case where an ego, arrogant guy got far in life. <laughs> you, if you're arrogant, you better be able to back it up. If you guys want to talk, then we will see you back in the room. I'm, I'm letting, um, this is my chance to meet some of the followers that I don't see. So, Raise your hand, guys. This is your chance to uh, have a chat. Yeah, seriously, I'm not. I look young, but dude, I'm. I am tired, man. If you talk about automation, we do automate. You can. A hard stop is automate. It's automation. People always want to talk about automation. That's the thing. Why are you so fucking lazy? Trading is still as much of a science as it is an art. You know what I'm saying? This is why humans still can beat the algos. Why is it that I was able to beat the algos? At the end of the day, guys, I mean, dude, why are you going to automate? First of all, (laughs) how are you going to automate? (laughs) <laughs> you know, you make it, people make it seem like it's so easy to do automation shit. It takes years of tweaking. It takes a lot of money. Plus, you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what to code. There's so much stuff that still we don't know. I don't know everything. And when you automate, you're competing with other algos. My algo is not going to be anywhere near a fucking Citadel's algo. They spent billions of dollars refining but my brain will beat the fucking algo my brain is worth more than a billion dollars they want to program the algo to be the brain but they can't they're trying maybe one day they will but we ain't from us <laughs> we don't have that kind of capital all right guys raise your hand and i'll, I'll bring someone on no one wants to come on today everyone's tired <laughs> you want to talk about how to make a million dollars 
See, this is the thing, guys. You guys are uh, when given an opportunity, man. Man, if I was you guys and somebody fucking asked me like that, I'd be jumping on. I'd be like, oh my god, I mean, this is my opportunity. But every week, you take us for granted. We walk around. You expect us to be here, and then when we don't show up, you're like, oh shit, what the fuck? So take the opportunity, guys. Appreciate the people that are here to help you. I don't get paid to walk around. Alex doesn't get paid to walk around. I can just be in there fucking training right now. I could be in there doing nothing. All right, guys. Okay, who's this guy? Urban Projects. Cool. Find fucking foresight <laughs> to, to come on. Oh. Hey, Val, how's it going? What's up, brother? I only, I only see you from the... You know, how you doing? Tell me where you're yeah, from yeah. And, and where you're from and who you are and all that. Yeah, I'm Z from Z Ali from Scotland. Oh, shit. What's up? <laughs> Yo. Hey, how are you doing? You're right. I'm just... I'm good. I'm good. Everyone well? Good. I want to hear the update. Good thing you, you, you chimed in. You're the club owner. You're the ex-club owner. Yeah, yeah. So this is where I'm at. Oh shit! Where are you? you? Oh, you opened a new club. That's my club, right? Oh shit! I oh, check this out. Check this out. Let me see. Let me see. Check this out. Oh, you have a training room in the back. So that's my office, right? In oh, my club. Awesome. And then this is like, this is these. I've built this myself. Wow. Oh, uh, hold on. I've got this is the beer bar, and I've got a garden out here. Wow. Whoa, I love it. So You see, Z combined his two passions. I love it. Yeah, so this is it, buddy. The, the Al Burritos. It's, we've got a Dude. Mexican burrito bar. Where, where right? is this? In Ireland? This is Scotland, Scotland. Scotland, Scotland, okay. Yeah, yeah. So when, so, when is it going to be open? Hey, it's open. I'm, I'm on a day off, but I'm working oh. here. So anybody over in Scotland, right there, brother. Come visit Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how's so yeah, training? I'm just how's uh, so it's all good. Yeah, training. yeah, I've been training a little bit today. Uh, nothing much going on today. Um, just trying to get back into trading. I've been busy with this. I've been busy with this, this place for the last several months, so I kind of had to take a bit of time off from trading, which was good. But now I'm back. I'm sized down, small sizes, just. Good. Getting back into the flow, market's different from what it was five, six months ago. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I'm glad you're taking it slow because the markets change all the time, man. Yeah, you so take I'm time off, it's like holy crap. Yeah, I'm just trying to adapt to the current situation and just taking my time. There's no rush, as I said. I've been doing it for a while now, and uh, it's a passion. I'm just gonna take my time, try to, you know, get are, better. At are you doing still? Are you still in contact with your tabs? Yeah, yeah, I speak to the guys. I mean, because I've not been trading, I've not been actively speaking to them as regular. But that's the thing. But when you come back, the- when, you, when you get back in there, talk to the tabs. The tabs will help you get back yeah, no, into the flow, right? Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'll definitely be doing that. I just want, wanted to say hi to everyone and, and then just show the setup where basically I, uh, I decided to have my um, trading station in my workplace. So, so I'm not losing opportunity on the market. Just and again, just because I have it here doesn't mean I'm necessarily chasing anything. Try to be sensible, discipline. I think once you get once you get the mechanism, I think it's really down to the discipline. I mean, stop loss and stop loss has become my savior. I think I've mentioned it a few months ago. Like. I already sort of know my stop loss before I go into a, a trade. Hey, what time just, is it over there? What, um, over there? what now? Yeah. It's, uh, what is it? Hold on. It's five, almost five uh, p.m. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, like, we got to get a, a fucking meetup over in Zeke's place. Call it. Yeah. <laughs> MIT meetup. <laughs> hey, 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 absolutely. Hey, absolutely. Hey, 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 we'll it'll be awesome. Man. We'll sponsor a meetup. You host it over there. We'll sponsor it. And then oh, whoever's around here. Do it. Do it. Mikasa Sukasa. Do it, brother. This is awesome. 
So whoever is from Scotland, man, Zeke's the man. Appreciate it's, it, brother. Uh, brother. You're all, always a pleasure. And always good to speak to you guys. And hope everybody else is well. Alex, happy birthday. Uh, more the mentors, everybody else. Hope you're all doing well. Awesome, man. Thanks for coming on, man. You brightened my day, brother. Seriously. Don't forget Al Burritos. Al Burritos, <laughs> Mexican burrito. I'm going to do a plug. <laughs> do it, do it. Hey, we're international now, baby. Yeah. Right, Hi, nice brother. to speak to you, Thanks, Peace, dude. everyone. Peace, brother. Go, 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 go. Well, I made my guys. I made my day. I'm going to end on this good positive note. You see what you see? Whenever I feel sad. This is what happens, man. I mean, then you, when you feel down, you always have a great community, great guys and girls. And look what Z did. He come in, he's like, damn, brighten up everybody's mood, guys. That's what family's all about. That's what MIC is all about, guys. Okay, guys, so we'll see you. Thanks for joining. All right, we'll see you next time. I'm going to come back to the room. Bye, guys. Scotland, visit his bar.